conservative new media viewers, what's going on? It's me, John D. Villarreal. I've got another cool science story, in my opinion, here for you. Now, check this out. Hey, what I'm showing you here, well, let me tell you what I'm showing you here first. What I'm showing you here is the uh, McMurdo Dry Valleys. This is in, in Antarctica, okay? It's in the southern hemisphere of the Earth. Right here is at actually the Upper Victoria Glacier. Now, here's the deal. This area is not exactly the area I'm talking about, but it's very close in my personal opinion. So we're talking about um, some bacteria that basically is able to survive in an extremely harsh environment. And the question that I'm going to raise is what does that mean, both for the science here on Earth, but also for the possibility of additional life, extraterrestrial alien life out there in the universe. Meaning that if, if, if the bacteria can survive in this kind of extreme environment, then does that not perhaps open up the possibility for additional environments uh, to be able to you know, have life forms in them. N let me flip it another way. If life can survive here, where else might it be able to survive in the universe? Does this not perhaps expand our horizons of where life might be able to survive out there in the universe? But let's deal with this right here right now. Here's the deal. There's a place in Antarctica, Lake Vida, that basically has some bacteria that is surviving in it, okay? Now, let me tell you about Lake Vida. Lake Vida, first of all, you've got an environment here that basically, you know, averages, you know, significantly below zero. Okay, I'm not talking about Fahrenheit. I'm talking about Celsius. We're talking about, uh, you know, seriously, you know, in the double digits, Celsius below zero. That's unbelievably cold. Okay, let's step, let's step one. So you're talking about bacteria surviving in super cold environment. Second thing you got to think about is this has a very high salt content in this lake. 6x salt water. You ever been to the sea? You ever check that out swim around there? In my personal opinion, fairly salty. Now you're dealing with a 6x? That's extreme in my opinion. Okay, now let's talk about this. There's no oxygen in there. There's no oxygen in this lake. And let's, let's, lay, let's lay on this fourth point. This lake has, you know, high nitrous oxide levels. Okay, that's extreme. And yet, and it, you know, and also it doesn't get any sun, dude. Okay, in, in, in some of this stuff, apparently, reportedly. So you stack up all those five factors right there. And even in that situation, you have got a number of bacteria that are surviving in there. That, in my personal opinion, is pretty amazing and thought-provoking. Okay, so that's what I want to talk about right here. And as you can see, I mean, obviously, you know, look at that. Now, it's very, you know, McMurdo Dry Valley is one they're called dry because you're talking about, you know, relatively low humidity in that situation in some of those parts there. But you can see the, 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 the sheer ice there. Now, of course, that's a glacier, but you can see just, just how foreboding. It's beautiful, but foreboding. That kind of environment is there. Look at the ice. Look at the rocks. Look at the mountainous stuff. Look at that. Just you can, I mean, it just looks cold, okay, in my personal opinion. And yet, this bacteria is surviving in it. What do you think about that? We need to talk about this. Hey folks, John D. Villarreal, the four-time national champion, the super genius here. Now, I want to keep talking about this. I'm dropping science on you. First of all, got to say all my personal opinion, only knowledge, facts, not cast this all for entertainment purposes only. Please check the disclaimers. I want to think, I want you to think about that because I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about this. If life can survive in that kind of extreme environment in Lake Vida, again, let's, let's, let's go over it, okay? Uh, lack of sunlight. Okay, uh, you know, no oxygen, high nitrous oxide levels, super salinity, 6x around that, uh, the um, salt water in the ocean type of levels, and of course, extreme cold. Does that not open up, literally almost by definition, the kinds of places 
the kinds of environments, whether here on Earth or out there in outer space, where life could possibly exist. Is that not axiomatic by definition? We've seen it here, it's proven. In the McMurdo Dry Valleys in Antarctica, what possibly could then exist out there? Here's my idea right here. I've said it before, I'll say it again. There are billions and billions of plants out there in the universe. There are so many plants just here in the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way galaxy is 100,000, if I'm remembering correctly, maybe I'm wrong, but if I'm remembering correctly, about 100,000 light years across. There's so much that we don't know, and we're finding more and more stuff out all the time. In my personal opinion, there is an expansion, if not a rapid expansion, in the body of science and even and, and, and let's say knowledgeable speculation, in my personal opinion, about the possibility of life out there, alien extraterrestrial life. My bottom line for this story is this. This clearly to me expands the possibility of alien extraterrestrial life, whether it's on an asteroid, an alien exoplanet, maybe, who knows, what we might find out in Mars or Titan or wherever else. We've talked about before the quote unquote Goldilocks zone, the habitable zone in various solar systems, meaning the distance from a particular star where we believe that it's possible that liquid water might exist. But my contention and uh, thought process, speculation is this, does this not, this evidence here in Lake Vida of life existing in that kind of extreme environment not open up the possibility that life could exist outside that Goldilocks zone or the you know quote unquote habitable zone. Do we not need to expand that? Now, granted, I understand that, you know, hence the name, or at least my interpretation of that name, Goldilocks meaning that maybe that's a a um, uh, you know more ideal or more uh, a better more likely zone, if you will. Like, I mean, maybe I'm getting that wrong, but you know, you see what I'm going with that is. But my point is this: isn't that kind of mm, human focused, Earth focus? You see what I'm saying? In other words, like I think we need to. I mean, and, and I understand where that's natural and commonsensical, if you will, to start looking in those places. All I'm saying is, I understand that. I get it, no question about it, and there's clearly scientific basis and logic that dictate, because we, we can't look everywhere. So we should look at you know conditions that do, in my personal opinion, we should look at, in, in areas and conditions that do uh, mimic an Earth-like type of situation, because maybe, you know, that, that, that would seem, there would seem to be good reason to do so, because we are perhaps more likely to find life uh, similar to what we've seen here on Earth. All I'm saying is, does this not open up the possibility of life out there, alien extraterrestrial life out there, perhaps in conditions that are unlike anything we've seen here on Earth? Does this not make it more likely that we may not, we may find extraterrestrial life out there? Could be microbes, could be bacteria, could be more advanced, who knows? I don't know that. All I'm saying is there's billions and billions of planets out there. We've, we, we, we haven't, I can't even say scratch the surface because I mean, we've gone almost in, in the cosmic scheme of things, almost literally nowhere, okay? That entire universe is out there. What do you think we might find? And what do you think about this story here? Give me the comments below. Please subscribe, Bob. I'm John DeVillo, the four-time national champion and the super genius. You know I love the science stories. I want your comments. You tell me where you're at on it. Comments below. Please subscribe, Bob. Please rate this video up. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.